My name is uh, Dylan Bradshaw. I'm from Dublin. I have a hair salon. Uh, I'm, I'm a hairdresser for 15 years. I have a hair salon uh, five years. The inspiration uh, is Artbox. It's basically kind of bringing back the feel, the punk feel. And what we wanted to do was it's, it's just kind of a little bit harder to look, but we've made it much more softer. And, and uh, I just think it works really, really well. It's great to see the 80s coming back as well. I think what we've done with the colour is we've We've used as a foundation colour, we've used uh, 542, and that's just to richen up the base. Now, obviously what we're going to do is we're going to cut it quite short today. We're going to leave a lot of weight through the front, but keeping it quite short. The first section I make, what I do is I split the hair right down the middle. Keep your sections very clean, just so we don't get lost here. Then what we do, we just take our first section. Be very careful that you get this the baseline correct, because if you start to too heavy, it's just going to get too weighty up here. So we need to keep it nice and neat because we're going to keep it straight up. It's not a round graduation, so we don't start to elevate the hair from the, the nape of the, uh, of the bone. We want to just evenly keep it parallel from the, the scalp. shape just under the bone, which is great, it brings down the temple. This is how it's going to actually show the outline of the haircut. Remember, just to recap, we took the hairline underneath at an angle, just up here. So you got the angle where the, the hairline just starts to point out a little. And the same with the other side, through here. And after that, what we did was we just took our party from to the side and pulled everything to that point here. Everything we elevate here. Taking our shortest point to our longest point and just slide it through. And then after we finish that, we break it all up with the scissors just to texturize those ends, keep it a little softer. And we slide the front section around like so. We've taken out a section, as you can see, on top. And that's going to be our dominant color. Um, first of all, what we have to do is we have to take it section by section. And it's a technique we call the bleeding technique. The platinum is applied probably like two thirds of the hair down. We leave a regrowth on it, just to emphasize a little bit of a shadow through the color as we see later on with the finish. Just to recap, what we did was we put the base colour, um, our foundation colour was a 542 Majorelle. And then we went in with our mid lengths and ends through our top section that we that we sectioned out with the platinum, uh, which we call bleeding the technique. Um, and then what we're doing now is we're just, after rinsing the colour, we're just going back in, as you can see, and massaging uh, the dye colour jelly. Um, copper, just through the mid lengths and ends. Now, we just finished Carla's colour, we're just taking it straight back from the basin. You can kind of see that with the reveal there, how everything looks. 
it's such a strong, strong colour. Again, it's a really, really nice base, as we said. The foundation is so important, but it's also really, really important to see how this colour matches up to, to the rest of the, the hair, if you like. So what we're using uh, on Carla's hair, which is one of my favourite products from the Colour Show range, is this cream. Um, it's a really, really good product. It's absolutely perfect for... Carla's just got a little bit of fuller hair, and there's a little bit of a kink in it. And what we're using is just a little amount of, uh, of the cream. So just put it through the hair. I think you can agree that this kind of look is fairly strong even though it's classic and we look again through the back of the hair the short haircut it blends really well there you have it art box I think it's really strong I want to just um, break this up a lot stronger. You see, we get rid of our perfectly smooth, straight look, and just make it look a little bit more edgier. And my favourite product in the world, Infinium. But just to, again, we were saying about just dirtying it up a little. And again, what I was saying about. Taking the fringe over a little, just making a little bit more sessiony, if you like. The great thing I love about using um, Infinium is I think a lot of hairdressing at the moment has gone all about wax or all about wet products. It's really nice to use spray, but I think it's kind of from old school, and a lot of people seem to think you know the, the styling agents like the wet products that we were talking about earlier on work a lot better. But we can kind of just give the hair a little bit more volume and dirty it up a little bit, you know? And it's great for session hairdressing. Like, you make it up as you go along, as we're doing now. Because it just takes that softness out of the hair. Personally, this is my favorite look. And this really sums up our box again. It's just a much more stronger, more edgier, and really does incorporate, I think, what's happening on the catwalk at the moment.